here's the new front of the uh, shuttle punt. This is shuttle punt one, but it has a raised floor with slots, just like shuttle punt two. So originally I had two inches of foam on the bottom. So this represents the original state. And now I have um, three and a half inch tall ribs on the front. So as you can see, the floor is an inch and a half taller on the on this one compared to that one. I'm also testing a more simplistic seat here, this design. Um, this design is included on Shuttle Punt 2 plans. Uh, just in case you want to have two people on board, you can make two of these. And uh, they, they ride on the gun, gunnels and you can put them wherever you want. You can slide them forward, back. That allows um, two people to, to be on the Shuttle Punt 2 at the same time. Here we go. Uh, first trip with the slots on the side. All right, first leg of the journey going up uh, upstream on the towpath. About, I think, six miles. First test with the slots on the front of the boat. All right, we are in the uh, the big rapids area, but the current is really low. The, the water level is low. So I don't know what it's going to look like today. Oh, nice. Nice breeze. All right, we got a headwind, uh, but I'm going to see if this thing will uh, make me go backwards. Ooh, I feel acceleration here. Yeah, I'm going upstream. Nice. Man, this is a great, this would be a great day for sailing. Beautiful. The reason I haven't stand stood up yet is because I have a headwind, so that's going to make me slow down. Gosh, it's shallow. All right, uh, there's some big rapids up here. I don't know if you can hear them yet, but... Yes, uh, sometimes it feels like you're walking on water when you're on this thing. Because uh, you're literally just an inch and a half above the water. And you can see everything under you so clearly. This is great for fishing. Oh my gosh. Alright, I got myself a pawpaw floating down the river. Alright, here we go. So let's see uh, how the boat handles the... Uh, if water goes over that bow, if it just drains out and how fast. All right, here's several drops. One last big drop coming up. Okay, where do I go through? Woo! This is gonna be uh, 
a good test. Let's just say that. Okay. One more. Okay, I remember this before. I've done this. Um, you can hear the sound of the falls, but you can't see them from here. Let's hope I don't run into a big rock. Hey, there's a big rock. Okay, uh, heard some cracking on the bottom of the boat. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's okay. Um, whew. Uh, it doesn't seem to be taken on water. Uh, there's no water in the front. It all drained out. Man, that was tough. Um, Definitely need epoxy on the bottom of this thing. If I, all right, well, uh, the, the front did fill up with water at one point when I was on the rock and it just self-drained. So it's working. All right, so there's the floor. It's so uh, self-drained. Nice. All right, that was the first time I went down the rapids with uh, standing, completely standing up. That was a little bit crazy. And again, there's no water here, unless I tip. And then a little bit of water comes in, but then it just drains right out. <laughs> 